So hello guys, I'm Kyo from Final Audio Japan and then today I'm in Kenjem, New York. And then I would like to introduce you our new latest IEM, flagship IEM A8000. So this one, this IEM, one thing is different is that it features a single uh, barium dynamic drivers. So why we use a, di a barium driver is that because for this A series what we want to achieve is that we want to have it to have a very good transparency, the musical separations of every instrument is so good, and then so beryllium is being so famous that it is so light, and at the same time it's very hard, so uh, the sound quality is going to be very good. But what we do is that we want to push the limit of the beryllium driver, so we make it to be very, very thin, and then we set the drivers to be very sensitive. So. Um, to have a good sound from a barium driver is not only that you just plug in a driver and then it will sound good. So for like this A8000, actually we have applied um, multiple uh, new technologies that uh, our engineers have uh, spent five years of research. So uh, the first thing is that um, in the A8000, we applied the direct mounting. So what the direct mounting means is that for a normal, uh, most of the dynamic driver uh, earphones, the drivers is being uh, attached to the housing through uh, flexible gums. And then, but for this one, when we have uh, flexible gums between the housing and also the drivers, when the driver produces sounds, it actually vibrates, and then the driver itself is going to uh, is going to affect the sound quality. So what we do this time is that we are direct mounting that the driver is directly being mounted onto the housing and then um, we are using a very hard gum to make sure that it won't vibrate at any frequencies. So there is one of the technologies and then this is actually kind of very difficult to achieve because we need a very very accurate high precision to achieve this direct mounting. And then another one is that because the driver is so sensitive that any pressure changes inside the IEM so we also apply the tetra chamber. So what the tetra chamber means is that we have four chambers uh, one chamber is in front of the driver, and then there are three chambers at the back of the drivers. So two drivers, uh, two chambers at the back, right at the back of the uh, driver, is to make sure that the air movement, the air pressures, is so stable to create a very stable sounds, very stable sound signatures. And then there's another one is at the MM6 over there. Is that uh, we have figured out that even the slightly little change on the welding point the different size is going to cause the sounds different. So what we do is that we are adding a separator between the MMCX and also the housing to, um, to control the volume over there. And then it is something like, um, like a, a small damping system over there. And then so that's why our A8000, it, the sound is very stable. It had a very low THD and uh, N level. We hope that if there is any chance, please have a try. Hello, so my name is Matthew Bartlett. I'm the Managing Director of Cord Electronics. And I'd just like to talk to you about two new products we are launching here today. The first is called Tugo. This is a wireless streaming module for our Hugo 2 uh, DAC amplifier. Tugo gives you Wi-Fi and Bluetooth wireless streaming, but also Ethernet connectivity for networked audio and for streaming uh, solutions such as Tidal and Quobuzz. Uh, it also has two SD card slots, which can take two terabyte cards, giving you four terabytes in total. Battery powered with eight hours battery use. So together with Hugo 2, you have a fully portable 
streaming wireless solution for your headphones or for your system at home. Uh, you can use it for system use as well. Fully charged micro port um, as Hugo 2 is. The second product we're launching today is to you. Plugs together into this and this gives you the uh, digital audio interface for to go. So it allows to go to work with other DACs such as our TT2 and our Dave and you have BNC coax output, RCA output, optical output and USB output to plug into a variety of different digital products. Uh, for instance AV processors as well it could go into. Um, this gives you a, a full streaming product in a very small compact package and importantly you can use it with our M scaler to upscale the output from this to full 768 kilohertz to run into our other DAC products. Simply the two products simply plug together and then there are a couple of little fixings here which screw tight and give you a very rigid product. So to go to you, the two products we're launching here today to increase our streaming platform support. So this is our Abyss Diana V2. Uh, it's the latest generation of Diana. And we've done, compared to the original V1 model that came about, I think, two years ago, um, we've made some modifications to the shape of the headband. The ear pads are more carved out, uh, giving you more space. Even though the headphone itself is the thinnest planer in the world, uh, we're able to fit quite a large uh, size ear and head onto this planer magnetic headphone. Um, this is the lowest cost in our line, which isn't inexpensive. Uh, it retails for $29.95, but it is the lowest Abyss headphone we currently make. Um, the cool thing about this is it's fairly lightweight, uh, it's flexible, it's easy, it comes with a carry case, so you can just take it with you. Um, it does like power, so you're going to need a good amp, a portable amp, good player, but uh, overall, it's all Abyss. It's got our sound signature, our quality. Um, you know, it's, it's made in USA, this is all machined aluminum. Uh, we do a, a ceramic polymer uh, oven cured coating on this. Same with the baffle in the front. The drivers we build in-house, again all made in USA in-house at our facility. Um, it's, it's a very well made, very, very durable, hand assembled, made in USA product and uh, we're proud of it. It's, uh, again, it's, it's something completely different in the headphone market, being so small and thin relative to having all this bulk on your head. So um, it's, it's very different than everything else out there. Hi, I'm Josh with Empire Ears. We're here showcasing our whole lineup. Our really popular models this year have been the, uh, the Wraith and the Valkyrie. Uh, the Valkyrie has a wonderful, uh, tight and impactful low end and some really buttery, beautiful detail highs. Uh, you get a lot of information throughout the whole spectrum on that one and it's a ton of fun, super high energy. Uh, and then we have the Wraith this year as well. That's new. It's got a quadruple electrostat up on the top side. Each of those electrostats is performing just a tiny little frequency range. So you get a lot of really clean and incredible spacious detail from the Wraith. It's like being alone inside a theater by yourself. It's a really wonderful time listening. Uh, large scale reproduction on that is incredible. Um, people really seem to be driving with the Valkyrie. Um, they really like the high energy of it. Uh, popular tracks coming from rock and roll and hip hop. Um, my personal favorite, the Legend X. Uh, excellent monitor, seven drivers. You get all the detail in the world, but it's very musical. Uh, it's meant to sound like sitting in a nice room with a large set of loudspeakers. Um, very relaxing, listening, having a good time.
This is the Cayenne HA6A, a strictly headphones tube amplifier. One of the best I've heard. Um, I liked a lot the fact that it has interchangeable tubes. You can, uh, right now it's equipped with the KT ADA tubes, but it also comes in with the, a box here which has the uh, EL34s. So if you like to change tubes and alter sound, this will allow you to do that. This particular unit has XLR inputs in the back and RCA inputs, which are switchable in the front, as you can see here. And also allows you to connect different impedance headphones, high, medium, and low, to adapt so many headphones that are out there. It also has three different type of inputs for different connectors that headphones use nowadays. This unit, it's perhaps one of the most luxuriously looking unit that I've been working with and I've been very impressed by the sound as well. So if you're looking for a single tube headphone amplifier, I believe the Kine HA6A might be your unit.